The actor Ralph Little has escalated his row with Jeremy Hunt by producing a video in which he accuses the health secretary of misleading the public about services for the mentally ill. The move comes after the pair became embroiled, in a Twitter spat in which the royal family star disputed Hunt's claims that the NHS had overseen the biggest expansion of mental health provision in Europe and double dared the cabinet member to sue him if he was wrong. Hunt hit back by calling on Little to find another major European country that had done better. I double dare, you, he wrote. Now the actor has responded by teaming up with the Labour MP Luciana Berger and the Liberal Democrat MP Norman Lamb to accuse the health secretary of repeatedly using misleading figures. Watch Jeremy Hunt spin the truth about mental health. He tells us that the Tories have employed thousands more mental health workers, starts little, before the video cuts to the health secretary talking in the comments about 4,300 more people working in mental health trusts. Berger cuts in with another watch him spin before clips of Hunt in front of a select committee and on the Andrew Marr show referencing the same numbers since 2010. The video then shows Hunt's tweet responding to Little's original attack, with Hunt claiming 4,300 more people have been employed by mental health trusts since 2010. Jeremy Hunt with Jeremy. Hunt 4,300, more employed by mental health trusts, 2,700 more employed in talking therapies, 1,400 more people treated every day since 2010, isn't it her job to find a major European country that's done better and faster rather than make assertions you can't support? I double dare you November 8, 2017 but it goes on to cite Commons Library figures which show, the number of mental health workers in both NHS trusts and CCGs in England has risen from 100,342 to 100,839, since 2010. The actual increase of staff working in mental health since 2010 is under 500, it is just, 497, adds little. The Department of Health said Hunt's reference was to the change in the number of staff working in mental health and learning disability trusts between July 2013 not 2010 and July 2017. It said this number rose from 162,611 to 166,905, an increase of 4,294. Officials said Little's claim of 497 was about those working in mental health by their occupation between September 2010 and August 2017 and so was a different definition and covered a different time period. They argued that while both numbers were correct, they believed the comparison used by Hunt was more meaningful because it captured more people in frontline services. Berger told The Guardian that she helped produce the film to expose what was happening in mental health services. We consistently hear big numbers from the Secretary of State and yet, there have been significant cuts in the sector since 2010. Ultimately we are no closer to achieving parity of esteem, real equality, for people suffering with their mental health. Lamb was mental health minister under the coalition government, from 201,215, during the period that covers the contested figures. You'd hear that and think there were 4,300 more people working in mental health since 2010 right? The reality is a fraction of what he is saying, Lamb says in the film. He told The Guardian his experience in government was of a health system biased against the treatment of mentally ill. Regular meetings with the health secretary at the time involved the extraordinary micromanagement of data for every hospital regarding physical health and nothing in mental health. He said he spent his time fighting with a shrinking workforce, rather than being able to heal an expanding one, and that ministers needed to give an honest picture. I agreed to take part in the video because I think it is terribly important we take very seriously the actual evidence of what is happening on the ground and avoid claims and counterclaims that often bear little resemblance to the reality," Lamb said. I just think we undermine people's trust in politics and politicians if we say things that don't sound accurate. The Doe insisted Hunt had not misused figures and highlighted comments from Little expressing his regret at accusing the minister of having knowingly lied. I was angry and a little bit overconfident. In hindsight, it was a regrettable choice of words, he told LBC Radio. A spokeswoman for the health secretary said it's no surprise to see politicians and activists from other parties making politically motivated attacks on our ambitious expansion of mental health provision, but the facts as set out by the independent chief executive of NHS England remain that the NHS is undergoing one of the world's most ambitious efforts to expand mental health services for common mental health problems.